This is Brew Crime News. Your daily news, once monthly. Here are your hosts, JT and Mike. Hello, everybody. My name is Jiggly Titties, and I'm here to present Brew Crime News, where we give you your daily news monthly. I don't know what's gotten into me other than two beers, uh, but uh, I'm here with my co-anchor. Skinny Mini Mike. <laughs> If you're jiggling titties, and our guest co-host, our guest anchor, Jen from our True Crime podcast. And if Woo-hoo! you're jiggling titties, I guess I'm drooping ones. Because... <laughs> <laughs> so your nickname now is DTs, or just yeah, or just droopy. You can call me droopy. <laughs> droopy? No, I'm not calling you droopy. <laughs> you just need a little I'm cocaine to dwarf. pick them up. Yes, yeah. something. Something. <laughs> <laughs> it's tough oh, to rub wow. cocaine on your gums. It's tough mm-hmm. getting old. <laughs> oh, Ravi is a bitch. Perky. I oh, trust me. She is hey. not a girl's girl. <laughs> decades ago. Decades ago I had an iron gut. Now my guts just suck. So, you know, oh. getting older sucks. <laughs> it's a jelly gut. I have one of those too. Oh, just everything I eat hurts me now. Everything. Oh. Mm-hmm sucks yeah. i know need to get All some right. uh papaya enzymes those help me better than tums <laughs> hey mike mm. i need you to go out and buy some papaya enzymes it I'm is gonna it's, write that they're down. like little pills i'll send you the link please or do I'll, I'll send you amazon link I they're know um, might not do they're amazon, suppositories but... i do so have fun <laughs> oh my I'm afraid being famous isn't the same as being a true hero. That's a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. Please clear the set. That's a wrap. All right. Singer Ingrid Andres says she was drunk during panned MLB anthem performance. We'll get treatment. And before I read this, I'm just going to play a little chunk of her performance because it was... Beautiful. Nope. Oh, say can no. you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we feel <laughs> by the twilight's my light's last gleaming. Whose broad stripes and bright stars <laughs> That's enough torture. <laughs> and it got worse. I don't know how, but oh, it, it got did. worse. It hurt. It hurt like my ears uh, bled. Yeah. So after a widely panned performance of the U.S. National Anthem at the MLB Home Run Derby, country singer Ingrid Andrus apologized Tuesday and said she was drunk. Quote, I'm checking myself into a facility today to get help I need, she wrote in an Instagram post. That was not me last night. I apologize to the MLB, all the fans, and this country I love so much for that rendition. The MLB is not commenting, spokesman Matt Bourne said. A representative for Andres said said there will be no additional comment at this time. I just love, she's a four-time Grammy-nominated um, musician. What and genre? Country. country. Um. I saw the video from somebody on TikTok and she's like a Gen X girl that does TikTok and yeah. I'm Gen X and she made the comment <laughs> at first she thought it was a make a wish. <laughs> oh, uh, you know, um, mm. rest in peace, Bob Newhart. Oh. And I shared this with you today, but my one of my favorite quotes from Bob is, I don't like country music, but I don't mean to denigrate those who do. And for the people who like country music, denigrate means put down. I so- <laughs> yeah. I love this. Too. Sports Illustrated writer Alex Carr said on Twitter, I'm so sorry. I'm sure Ingrid Andres is a wonderful person, but that was one of the worst national anthems I think I've ever heard in my whole uh, life. It was horrible. It was so yeah. bad she checked herself into a rehab. Although there was a national anthem. I think it was when Canada or the CFL had some American teams. And one of the singers sang the Canadian national anthem to the tune of "Oh Christmas Tree" or something. <laughs> so <laughs> there's well, some wild shit. Your anthem is "Oh Tannenbaum," anyway, right? 
<laughs> well, listen, Maple she leaf, right the entire time she was on in the taxi on the way to rehab. She said, "They try to make me go to rehab," and I said, "Oh, say yes, can you yes. see?" <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, uh, it's so sad because no matter where that's going to follow her around forever. I mean, and Fergie's probably really happy because up until then, Fergie was the worst one. Well, no, Roseanne Barr was the worst one. Ugh. But for the actual singers, I think it was Fergie. Oh, yeah. So Fergie's so, probably going, whew, thank God. There was an article that was posted that kind of features, basically, it's called tw- Top 25 Hobbies for 2024. But what it does is it lists... um. It lists the top 20 most inspiring celebrity hobbyists. And so what I'd like to do is um, do my due diligence, but also make this fun. I'm going to name the celebrity, and I want you to tell me what you think their hobby is. Oh, God. Uh, Okay. There are some doubles. So once you hear one, it might apply to another. Um, Okay. So here we go. David Beckham. Mm. Cooking. Tattooing, <laughs> no beekeeping. Idea. Beekeeping. Oh, okay. Huh. Yep. Um, like apiarist or whatever like they call them. Or no, ape apiarist. What is it? I don't know. Sure. That's a so big it's word. Called, it's called beekeeping, Mike. I just call them <laughs> brave. Um, beekeeper. <laughs> All right, beekeeping Tom Daly. Like Tom, I don't know who Tom Daly is. He's the diver from England. He was no, in the no, Olympics. No. Anyways, uh, knitting. Scarlett Johansson. Wow. Ooh, Scar jo likes to do Colin Jost. <laughs> I she, mean, hey. she does have a They're hobby for both white guys. Lucky. They're both lucky. They are both lucky, yes. <laughs> Especially <laughs> Colin. <laughs> right? well, I think uh, Colin's no. adorable. Scarlett is also uh into beekeeping. No way. Yeah. That's cool. All right. Um, uh, Rod maybe, I thought maybe she was into like PVC. <laughs> Rod Stewart. Rod Stewart. PVC. <laughs> well, I won't mention the old uh, rumors about him that were androgyny. So wrong. No, I don't know. Rod Stewart. <laughs> Hamsters. Hair, what? Hair gel. I don't know. <laughs> Model railways. Oh, cool. That's like an old man thing to do. It is very. <laughs> All right, we're gonna speed round it. Beyonce. Dancing, scrapbooking, um, beekeeping. Uh, no Jesus. way. Sting, beekeeping. beekeeping. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> um, but Julia poorly. Roberts is into knitting. Brad Pitt's into pottery. Richard Branson is into womanizing. Sorry, um, chess. Uh, Flea chess? from Red Hot. Huh? Yeah, chess. Chess. Um, Flea from Red Hot Chili Peppers. Flea keeping. Flea yes. keeping. <laughs> Flea keeping, yes. Um, he's got his own circus. Socks. It's amazing. Um, uh, yeah, that's Nicole what I said. Kidman is skydiving. <laughs> Flea Who? keeping, yeah. Socks. Who's a sky- who's a skydiver? Nicole Kidman. Oh wow. Well, I guess huh? after um, being married to. <laughs> good point. He probably Tom made Cruise? her do it. Yeah. Um, I need to get Mike away from Tyson. Him. You're never going to guess this one. Biting ears. Mike Tyson. Hmm. Biting ears. Nah. I just think of tigers. He owns tigers. <laughs> Pigeon racing. <laughs> well, it's better hey, guys, than dog fighting. Guys, my pigeon's just not up for it today. Sorry, guys. Um, he's so intense until he opens his mouth. Um, yeah. Henry Cavill. You probably know this one. Um, Maybe not. Politics. No, he's big into Warhammer. Um, oh, you know what? I think I did hear that. Yeah. yeah. Will it was him Will and someone Smith, else? It's not slapping other men. Um, but it Will is. Will Smith's into fencing. Huh. Uh, I can Bill see him Gates, being that hoity-toity. Right. Bill Gates is into playing bridge. <laughs> Angelina Jolie. This will not surprise Botox, you at all. No, Botox. Her father, but she's into collecting weapons. Um, El- but but Elder weapons. Right. But Elton cheese John cut cheese. Okay. Right. Is into Diamond collecting Crested sunglasses. <laughs> sunglasses? <laughs> I mean, I, he was like always into glass. If you look at anything in the 70s, he oh, was yeah. always had the all of his glasses. outfits had awesome sunglasses. Feathers and sunglasses. Yeah. I miss that. Um I love him. 
I was really hoping on the farewell tour that I saw him on, I was really hoping he was going to pull out one or two, like uh-huh. the baseball outfit or the duck something. or something. He right. didn't, but oh. it's okay. Um, all right, last two. Claudia Schiffer is into collecting insects. Hmm. And uh, Susan Sarandon's into playing ping pong. Cool. Uh, there are there are a lot of things that people want to try in 2024. Beekeeping is one of them. Coin collecting or origami. That's a cheap hobby. Um, parkour. Because you know what? I think all of the RNC should go try out parkour. My cat does parkour. <laughs> yes, I bet. And I'm hoping they don't do it as successfully as your cat. <laughs> no, he bounces. My cat doesn't run down the hall. He bounces off the walls. To... That is oh one God. talented pussy. You, you have no idea. You have no idea. She's. Oh, God. I got another one here. Now that I've made Mike uncomfortable? Not at all. <laughs> well, to bring it down a little bit, Shifty Shellshock, Crazy Town frontman and butterfly singer, dies at 49. So LA County, uh, Los Angeles County Medical Examiner confirmed that the musician died at his home on Monday, June 24th. Shifty Shell Shock, the frontman of Crazy Town, has died. Uh, where's it there? You keep his real saying name was, him. and it sounds like Latin. His real name is Seth Binzer. He died uh, in LA at his home on Monday, June 24th. The medical examiner has not yet listed the cause of his death. Representative for Binzer did not immediately respond to people's requests for comment. Vincent began his journey in the music industry with fellow vocalist, rapper, and band member Bert Epic Mauser in 1992. They performed a group called Brimstone Sluggers, which would eventually become the rock band Crazy Town in Los Angeles in 1995. Uh, let's see here. Oh, that's they're they're rough looking. Yeah. Don't it's a rap it rock band. They were the beginning of Limp Biscuit. Oh yeah. What? He's like Try touring. I think my my daughter's going to his concert. They're he like is, the... and he looks like a grandpa. He does, which is devastating to me because he's like around my age. So he per- pursued a solo career, and the band broke up uh, after after his band broke up the first time. Um, he, he had troubles, but. The singer also dealt with substance abuse throughout his career, appearing on VH1 show Celebrity Rehab and Sober House. He was also hospitalized in 2012 after losing consciousness and falling into a coma before recovering. Jen, to give you a night, this so Crazy Town came up with that song. Come, my lady, come, come, my lady, oh. you're my butterfly, sugar, come baby. Come, my lady, come, come I love that lady. song back in the yeah. day. Okay, that's the one. That same year, Binzer was arrested on charges of battery and drug possession, according to TMZ. He was arrested in 2022 on DUI charges. Uh, He also got into an altercation with Crazy Town guitarist Bobby Reeves in 2023 through one of their shows, so I guess they got back together. But it's still sad, you know. Substance abuse can be terrible. And you know what? That one album, I think it was called The Gift of Game. Yeah, Gift of Game. Um, I really enjoyed that album when it first came out when I was just getting into like that sort of rap rock a little bit. So yeah. Here's a Should quick shell one. Shell shocks no more. Here's a quick one you guys might enjoy. If mm-hmm. you could pick, you know how rappers have like feuds back and forth a lot of times. Oh, for sure. Right? Yep. Hell yeah. You, know, you want to, I guess some musicians also do performers do you want to guess two people that are right now that are currently in a feud Drake? Or at least one person is in the feud with somebody else um well, it's kind of a feud i guess uh um uh nope don't know nobody i can't even come up with a joke <laughs> britney spears oh yes the osborne Ozzy osborne <laughs> and sharon yeah, it looks oh, like wow. Ozzy kind of crapped all over Britney's dancing videos that she does now. And uh, I mean, yeah. is that where her self worth is now? Like, if Ozzy oh, no, craps, like, Ozzy anything. can't even walk. Like, Ozzy can't move back to England because his health is so poor. Correct. So. I don't know. However, I wouldn't be surprised because Sharon is is a pit bull, and 
Uh, she probably runs else. his socials. So. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, God love Britney, but have you watched any of her dance videos that she makes? It's rough. It's no. rough. I'm very concerned, actually. I, the last dance almost, videos like, I watched of her was when she was a huge pop star when I was younger and I had one of her posters. <laughs> now they seem like cries for help. I mean, they yeah. are cries oh, for and help. I would not be surprised if there's somebody behind the camera forcing her to do it. I mean, it's, like there there is a video of her dancing yeah. in circles with a knife in her hands. Yeah. Like a butcher wow. knife. Yeah. And she's like, she's close to stripping. I mean, it's oh, she's pl- she's posted plenty of yeah non clothed <laughs> images. It? I'll, I'll, I'll send you a link to the poster I had when I was a teen. Uh, oh, where's the chat? And she's still a pretty lady, you know. I had it's this just... poster. Oh yeah, <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> that was everything. I I yeah, it sure was. I hated her music back then, even, but I had that. Oh, it's oh yeah. My parents should have picked Thank up God on something when teen. I listened to her and Christina and the boy bands. They should have known something was up. Yeah. <laughs> I did not have sexual relations with that woman. And then we're going to Washington, D.C. to take back the White House. Yeah! There you go. Why don't we just ask Osama bin Laden, uh, Osama Obama, uh, Obama, what the is, is since uh, he won by such a big amount. Uh, our favorite Marjorie Taylor Greene, good old MTG, um, who is not fit to be a waitress at a suggestive bar, let alone a politician. Um She says it was divine intervention that prevented Donald Trump from being murdered over the weekend in the attempted assassination. Now, I want to say by right winger. Right. Right. I want to say this flat out. Not cool. In general. Not cool. I'm not celebrating an assassination. What I'm talking about is her thought of this. It's horrible. Um, She was speaking to Breitbart News because, of course, she was because that's all they've got. Um, and described seeing, quote, what looked like an angel appear above Trump moments before he was nearly shot. Uh, Quote, I believe we witnessed a miracle, literally. You know, before it happened, the flag above got blown in the wind. It got tied into literally what looked like an angel. Did you see that video? It was like an angel coming down. This is the same person who in the Bible is against everything Trump's done. Yep. And he sent somebody down, but then Bob, who knew her, dies? No. Yeah, nope. no. Nope. And I also love they're all talking about how, like, God saved Trump. Well, what about the Re- Republican that was behind him that got killed by the bullet? Like, it's not going to save was them. Was he behind like... him? They've never said where he was. No, no. They've one never... of, one of the, the one of the people that got shot was, was a firefighter. Are they behind? Yeah, the firefighter. Fire... fire... But I didn't think they re- revealed where he was. Oh, as far as I know, he was right behind Trump, and that's why he got killed. All I know is this. Not that it matters, but yeah. I know yeah. that he was not called. His family was not called by Don. Don nope. went golfing. Number two, his wife, I, I feel so terrible. That is a horrible thing to happen. Was not called by Don. Denied a call from the President of the United States. Because yeah. her husband was a Be- devout Republican. Republican. But also, Cult. she said she wasn't pol- political. It's kind of weird. But the word devout is yeah. scary. In it's that everything. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, apparently, it was a, 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 an angel dressed in a flag. Sounds Sorry, like Marjorie, American Jesus. You're not the vice president. <laughs> Speaking of the Republicans, out at the <laughs> RNC, Rudy Giuliani just can't walk. He can't. He was former so New drunk. York, <laughs> former New York City mayor, who is 80 years old, has been walking in uh, the, oh God, F-I-S-E-R-V. F-I-S-E-R-V. Fiserv, Fiserv Forum in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, when he suddenly tipped over into some empty chairs, according to a video footage of the incident. 
A few people appeared to offer a hand to the recently disbarred lawyer, previously the personal attorney of the former President Donald Trump, eventually helping him up. Meanwhile, a couple of photographers were seen snapping pictures yes. of Giuliani as he rose. In a Tuesday night response on Twitter, Giuliani acknowledged the fall and thanked people for their concern. Can, can you let me sh just share a screen real fast so I can show Jen this? If she has oh, the seen picture it. or no, the whole video. <laughs> okay, one sec. Um, there we go. It is it is the most pathetic thing I've literally ever seen. Where is it? This. Where? I'm gonna oh, share that. Okay. All right. Oh no! Oh. I see. yeah. Wait, is... you've seen this? Oh yeah. It's just so sad. I'll play I it anyways. Understand. I could use a laugh. All right. I'll well, here tumble you go. for you. I'll tumble for you. <laughs> He just <laughs> walks right into it and falls. He doesn't yeah. even like walk into it. He just like slips like one leg slips up under. It's so bad. And there's the photographers, right? And then all of a sudden, here comes a policeman who doesn't really care, but he's just there. Oh, he might. They got the thin blue line on their sides there. <laughs> that's, that's the uniform. I know. <laughs> I just, like I don't understand. I mean, other than the fact that he's probably 100% wasted, because I'd have to be going there anyways. Um, it looked like the penguin <laughs> who took a tumble. Yes. Um, sure did. Just yeah. you know, when pathetic. He, he owes a lot of money and he filed for bankruptcy and all that kind of stuff. And supposedly what I read today is money is suddenly missing from his account. Like it, he's draining money from his account. So, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, here it is. Julie, Rudy Giuliani drains half of bank account for personal expenses while creditors pursue what he owes them. Mm. It, uh, it, like he owes 150 million. Yeah. I, that blows my, this mind. whole RNC thing. Is it's it's like the Roman Empire where Trump's been there the whole time because he likes people talking about him even though they don't like him. I want to talk about Matt Gates. Oh, go please, for it! Go for oh, it, please. please. What the hell was with his face on the RNC? Like he's he, always looked like Beavis, but now or is it Butthead? I forget. Now he. I'm really, not even sure. I. It has to be AI filters. It has he, to because the day before he did look like that and. And Botox, speaking from experience, Botox doesn't happen overnight. He he truly asked his plastic surgeon for the villain look. <laughs> um, it's, it's incredible. It, it what's fascinating to me is like, um, his like when he entered government and what he looks like now is. Uh, is just insane. Um, so like, uh, where's the the pre? So here's pre. Here's pre Matt. Uh, share. So there's pre. Mm -hmm. This is him as he like when he was like a freshman yeah. senator. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And now mm -hmm. here he is at the RNC. But the day before oh, that, wow. he didn't look like that, though. That's what I'm saying. He looked normal the day before. This is what he looked like before. At the oh, RNC. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. why I'm <laughs> thinking it's a filter, <laughs> Ronnie Rotten. I don't think that's it's a filter, though. I'm thinking though. it's some kind of filter because the day before he didn't look like that. And Botox doesn't happen that quickly. It takes a good week or two to, like, get... In and Weird. paralyze you. I. That's why I'm thinking it's some kind of AI. Because those eyebrows, <laughs> those are definitely Botox oh, read, eyebrows. Read that, JT. Sorry to disagree with everyone, but I think Matt Gates, plastic surgeon, did a good job. He mm. enhanced the creepy pedo look that was always reflected his in true inner self, while still maintaining his face's extreme punchability. <laughs> he does have a punchable face, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Oh man, it's people like this who should never be able to procreate. Yeah. Ever. I, 
he looks ridiculous. His teeth are veneers and they're bleached. He's definitely gone to a tanning bed or been sprayed by Donald Trump's personal, probably underaged tanner. Um, and 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 his Allegedly. eyebrows. I who? It does. My, You're right. It looks like a horrible, like a uh, Snapchat filter. Mm -hmm. My favorite tweet was Matt Gates looks like he's about to open a white tiger themed magic show on the Las Vegas Strip. That's my favorite tweet from the whole thing. <laughs> this one says, I thought Matt Gates was against drag, but it looks like he's warmed up to it. <laughs> <laughs> There's one that says housewives on their first season, housewives on their fifth season. But I swear to you, he didn't look like that the day before. And like oh, I said, I, yeah. Botox takes at least a week to like hit. I know from experience, I, I am a proud Botox to get rid of my angry 11s. I go next week, but um, it takes a week honest, for Botox to hit. Honestly, I think because I'm looking at this before, like at the RNC and then uh -huh. speaking. And I feel like his eyebrows. His, Could be drawn, his huh? eyebrows were the exact same shape, but what they did was they plucked and they actually colored in underneath. His hair was, I don't know if his hair was dyed or gelled, and the makeup person did him fucking no favors. Dirty. Yeah. No favors. Which, honestly, but like, kudos to like, his nose them. looked different. His nose looks different. Smaller. Uh, Not It as does, but wide. it's also the light. Have it's you seen those videos? It's usually Asian women where they show their before mm. and then they do the whole makeup tutorial and they look the like fishing ones yeah yeah 100 percent. they could mm -hmm. just had a makeup artist just go total dirty on them could have yeah that's true and i, I think mean, we need to do it more drawn in. he looks like um he's creepier uh, than normal yeah kardashian him What's the he looks like caitlin jenner ah uh. i mean truly he looks like Caitlyn Jenner with skin pulled back. Um, or as one tweet says, he looks like what happens at the Mario 64 login screen where you pull all the features backwards. Oh, my God. Um, this one says Matt Gates looks like David Hasselhoff playing Ethan Hunt going undercover as Matt Gates at the RNC. Mm -hmm. Well, I can say this. Um July 16th, Kate Nicholson off a of uh, off a of Yahoo or Fuff Huff post. Uh, reported that Boris Johnson was left speaking to an almost empty room at a Republican convention in the U.S. The Mirror reported that the former PM had flown to the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee, also known as Ground Zero for Grinder failing, only to address a room of mostly empty seats in a hotel ballroom. He spoke about the U.K. and U.S. elections next to Kellyanne Conway. Um, claimed just a few dozen people came to see him, even though 50,000 I don't think so, are attending the convention. Um, it is one of the most pathetic. What, uh, hold on. Here you go, Mike. Or Jen. Please chuckle. Uh. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> oh, poor BJ. <laughs> uh, BJ and Casey. You know what? I think they should come up with like a band. Because I think they'd bring more people in. BJ and the Sunshine Band? B I, you know what? That's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> this, the people, the, the the people that have spoken at this thing. BJ and the clan. <laughs> I mean, I can't even begin. I I really want to find a list of everybody who spoke and their lawsuits and or legal issues. Because Hulk Hogan is one of them. <laughs> um. Couple legal Dana, issues there. Dana, whatever the fuck his name White, is, in UFC's a couple legal one. issues there. Oh yeah, I mean, two uh, wife beaters are right, right. right. Um, or, uh, accused, I know, yeah. I say. Eric Trump, who's like yogurt, but I'm sure that you know he's literally yogurt if it was flavorless and you were okay with it. And spoiled. Um, he what? said he's running in 2022. Oh God. Oh, he's running in. Is he? That's honestly. What he said. And the whole, from what I hear, Vivek, Vivek Rez, whatever, Vivek was, Ramaswamy. Yeah, he wants him to be his vice, his VP. Oh, I'm sure he does. Nobody likes him. Move on. He's nothing but a TikTok video. 
apparently the most impressive speaker this entire time was Don Don Jr.'s daughter, who's 17. That's sad. Not that, like, not that his cute. daughter is she's just so cute. 17 too. year old is the smartest speaker. Uh, good old, was- you know, dance, Vance, Nance, France, dick in his pants, maybe. Uh, had a shitty speech last night, too. So, uh, I've heard the fetch. Is that the Ke- Kai Madison crazy. Trump? Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. She's adorable. She does look adorable. She really yeah. Is. It's just unfortunate. The situation she's in. Hopefully, um, she can break out of that bullshit. Yeah, I, I sure think that there's an article that Kelly said Clarkson. that the RNC says that uh, there's a whole lot of false going on at the RNC. So, the fact fact checkers are having a, quite the time. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. I just wish they'd report on that shit a little more, just like they should have in the debate. But then they focused on the age. So, mm-hmm. it's, a, it's all right for ratings. Where should we go? I'll take Bernie over Psycho. I got one more. You got one more politics? Yeah. Yeah. All right. New U.S. border rules for dogs starting August 1st have wow. health minister concerned. Jesus. Health minister Mark Holland says he has secured concessions to the new rules being imposed by the United States on dog owner. Dog owners bringing their pets across the border, but remains concerned about the forthcoming changes. Quote, I am quite concerned, if I'm honest, about the regulations that begin or that are being brought into the, by the United States on August 1st, requiring a number of new measures for folks bringing their dogs across the border. Mm-hmm. Paul said the U.S. Center for Disease Control and Prevention uh, Prevention's new rules are not only going to impact Canadians, but also Americans who travel to Canada with their pets and have to face the new rules when they go back home. I think that this was very poorly thought out bit of business, and it's going to have a huge impact on Americans. Uh, The requirement that the Canadian Food Inspection Agency, CFIA, verify vaccine certificates for dogs has also been removed. A veterinarian in Canada will still have to certify the dog has been vaccinated for rabies for at least six months before travel. That also requires the dogs to be microchipped with a specific type of chip so photo ID for your dog will now be required to cross the border. So also, I, I'm not seeing it here, but it sounds like the new rules will require you to get a new certificate to cross the border like every 30 days or something. So it won't even be good for long term. Huh. And uh, like one of my neighbors, they were going to go down and visit their daughter who lives in Washington State, and they were going to leave their dog at home. But they've decided, no, we're not going to. We're taking our dog because this might be the last time they go see my daughter down in the States because the new rules are just so crazy. There's companies that will handle all that for you. I mean, it's a lot of money, but they, that, they don't have a lot of money there. One's no, retired, one's saying, semi-retired. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying that there's people that handle it. And I, I was hoping this would actually spell out some more of the rules. Oh, here we go. Here's Here's a link to the rules. Oh, thanks, CDC, for page not found. We're we're going to go military, but we're going to go German. And you know that's always going to be a good time. Um, So the, the German Navy is working on modernizing its Brandenburg class F-123 frigates. Um, and usually... If you think modernizing, right, you're thinking, okay, they're upgrading the sonar or they're upgrading their stealth or they're upgrading, you know, something modern. Um, No, no, no. This means that they're ending their reliance on eight inch floppy disks. Uh, I said pardon? The frigates use floppy disks for their onboard data acquisition, DAQ systems, Algen Garados a German defense and security policy blog by journalist Thomas Wiegold notes that DAQs are important for controlling frigates, including power generation, because the op quote, because the operating parameters have to be recorded per a Google translation. The ships themselves specialize in anti-submarine warfare and air defense. Earlier this month, 
Um, this publication spotted a tender for service published June 21st by Germany's Federal Office of Bundeswehr Equipment, Information Technology, and In-Service Support to modernize the German Navy's four frigates. The ships were commissioned in 94 to December 96. And as noted by German IT news outlet Heise, the, con the continued use of 8-inch floppies, despite modern alternatives being available for years, quote, has to do with the fact that established systems are considered more reliable. This is the whole, like, we do not like new things. We will not do new things. We will keep it where it is. Um, I just insulted all zero of our German listeners. Rather yes. than overhauling the entire system, System, the government plans to develop and integrate an onboard emulation system to replace the floppy disks. So they're not even going they're not even going to actually update the system. They're going to create an emulator just not to have to use the floppy disks. Oh, but it's wow. the same system. Um that just Okay, so the Swedish company uh a Swedish company that had bid on it, which they lost um, Saab won the contract, but this, a Swedish company that bid said the deal for, for, for creating an emulation device of what already exists was 4.6 billion, which is around wow. 463 million seven hundred forty eight thousand dollars per um, the tender. The replacement is expected to start on October 1st and end January 31st, 2025. This is literally m megabytes. Floppy disks are megs, tops, yeah. minimum. How is this going to take that long? And why is it so expensive if you're just creating an emulator? Don't understand. Um, Neither do I. I don't, I don't understand any of it. <laughs> so I know what floppy disks are. <laughs> yeah, no, like basically an emulator, like uh, they have like video game emulators for computers. Right? So you could play like N64 or something that on a computer that's basically what they're doing they're just creating a copy that doesn't require the floppy disk that will go reliably on a computer that is an emulator that's all they're doing not quite sure why like a 16 year old it genius couldn't do it for them for like five bags of doritos um i also don't know why i care so much because it's germany um so for the typical person, floppies are obsolete. Government bodies with, with already established and successfully running systems in place have been much slower, no shit, to abandon the old storage medium. Besides the German Navy and U.S. Air Force, Japan only last month officially stopped using floppy disks in government mental systems. The, the San Francisco Municipal Transportation Agency plans to use five and a quarter inch floppies to help run San Francisco's Muni Metro light rail system until 2030. Various industries also continue using floppy disks to help run machines that have long been used as Chuck E. Cheese did for animatronics as recently as 2023. Wow. If this is not a sign, I don't understand. We're, we're literally having conversations about AI. And these folks are running on floppies. <laughs> if it ain't broke. Right? I'm like, I'm not saying I was comfortable riding on a train in Denver to the airport that was controlled by some central location. I'm not saying that I was comfortable with that. There was a guy in the in the train, but he's not really he's there as a backup. But at the same time, like I'm much more comfortable with that than knowing that somebody dropped in a floppy disk and didn't put Oregon Trail in instead of the actual program. So right. I don't know why I'm so angry about it. It's just frustrating. <laughs> just adapt, motherfucker. Yeah, it's pretty pathetic. When was the last time people actually used floppy disks? Right? I don't know, but the wall has come down. It's time to move on. Just please. There's my overly serious, unnecessarily uh, dramatic re report about floppy disks. Maybe I find it personally offensive that they're calling something floppy. I don't know. Maybe. I thought that was going to get Jen. Dang it. <laughs> I don't understand. I, I just, it was a dick joke about floppy oh. things. Oh, like, oh. sorry. I don't right. have that problem here. Ah! <laughs> All right. I've got one here. And I'll have to share screen when I get to it. Audible looking at retiring some older military equipment, including the Snowbird Jets. The Department of National Defense is actively considering whether to retire some of its older ships, planes, and other 
items of equipment that have become difficult and costly to maintain, including the aircraft belonging to the iconic Snowbird Demonstration Squadron. In an interview with CBC News, Defense Minister Bill Blair insisted no decision had been made and he's waiting on advice from military leaders. Blair said the 1960s vintage CT-114 Tudor jets used by the Snowbirds have become or been in service too long. He said he's asked the commander of the Air Force whether the planes, which were given a, a life extension to 2025 and are now going through additional upgrades, have finally aged out. And they're just used as demonstration vehicles. They're not like actually military vehicles anymore. So he does say that he'd like to maintain the Snowbirds. He'd just like to get them better planes, but costs a lot of money for a demonstration fleet that isn't, you know, active military uh, planes. And uh, they're they're one of like the most celebrated demonstration fleets out there for like air shows and stuff. So uh, one of my good friends, actually, his older brother was one of the Snowbirds pilots for a couple years. Name and it's drop. basically the. Well, I'm not going to name them, but um, basically the best of the Canadian Air Force get to be pilots with the Snowbirds for, I think it's a one year term and they can get an extension to a two year term, I think. So Sounds basically like they're they, the equivalent of our Blue Angels. But Blue Angels don't get to play as much as the Snowbirds do. They get to show. I've seen the, the Blue Angels in um, the Abbotsford Air Show here many times. And they don't get to play like the Snowbirds do. I'll they, show you two a little bit. They don't show out for Canada. This is the Snowbirds here. Let me uh, pull up the... You guys legalized marijuana. Of course they're not going to show out. <laughs> so this is just like some of it, but... So they're little old planes, but... They don't look like birds at all. <laughs> no, I'm kind of disappointed. They don't look like snow either. But look how close they're flying. Oh, no. yeah. And just wait here. Uh, there's going to be... I can break off. Yeah. Oh, this is kind of a jerky video, but they uh, they right. draw a heart in the air. Oh, that's cool. Uh, where is it here? Here we go. Here's some stuff. It almost looked like upside down boobs. Yeah, right? <laughs> okay, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Jen, you missed it. Go back. Oh, let me back up. Let me no, back I'm up. Sorry. Watch this. No. Nope. <laughs> oh. Top oh, gun my ass. God, my <laughs> heart went in my stomach for that. I'm sorry, I, I need a popper to release look at my how ass. Close they're oh. flying. <laughs> Fuck that. Did you see that split there, Jen? I uh, know I did. Canada doesn't give shit about their soldiers. I'm just No, they this is they this is like for being the best of the best, you get to do this for a year. Going to air shows uh. and just showing off. For being the best of the best, you should be able I just to I wonder what live. life insurance is. <laughs> well, there was a crash a couple of years ago. Um... Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it like, it's just awesome. They do perform in the States, too. I literally would have a panic attack on the ground I watching I'm it. having a panic attack now. I can't. <laughs> I, I, I haven't been to many air shows in the last decade or two, but seeing I the mean, snowbirds one miscalculation and you're screwed. <laughs> oh yeah, a hundred percent. So it'll be really sad if they retire these planes because who knows if they'll actually buy new planes to do this again. They're pretty. I don't know, planes. but it'll be from us. So get ready. Look at that. Look at that. Off we go into the wild blue. That's so close. Gonna crash and fuck our lives um, up. Those almost look like uh like sp- Spider-Man airplanes or something. You know right. what I mean? Like it'd be in Marvel comics. They look like fucking well, toys. They're they they're do. yeah, they're what did it say they were here? They were always designed as trainers. They're not actually um they're not like active uh fighter jets. I appreciate that the video you showed us is from St. Louis. There you go, yeah. <laughs> they're they're, they're the, the Canadair CT one fourteen tutor. Uh, it was designed and produced by Canadian aircraft manufacturer Candair, uh, which doesn't exist anymore. It's a jet trainer for the uh, Royal Canadian Air Force and uh, later the Canadian Armed Forces between 1960 and 2000. Uh, I, I think it's very impressive, and I also think I now know why you guys don't get into a lot of wars. <laughs> All of your oh. folks are doing tricks. <laughs> What do we actually fly right now? 
Okay, um, planes. I don't know. We're going to have to go to our special yeah. reporters on the ground, Orville and Wilbur Wright. But what do we have here? Boo, 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 By the way, boo. you're welcome. <laughs> it looks like we currently fly the CF-18 Hornet and the FA-18 Hornet. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> They're from 1983. They're still used a lot, though. Yeah, no. And we've we've ordered your stupid stealth plane that's expensive as fuck. Sorry. <laughs> uh, if you can't blah, blah. afford it. I don't know what y'all got to be stealth about. Huh? I mean, I know syrup's a big deal, but come on. And polar bears. And, and yes. There we go. We just ordered 88 F-35 fighters. You so whenever they show them. up. Well, they're supposed to start showing up a couple of them in two years. $850 million investment. But it's like a couple billion dollars overall. All right, go ahead, Jen. Petty cash. Well, speaking of birds, pew, pew. over 400 people in Niagara Falls, New York, are lining up to the Niagara SPCA to adopt a white-fronted Amazon parent parrot. Ooh. Now, why do you ask? Why 400 people? Why? why do they want this parrot? Because the parrot says stuff like, quote, do you want me to kick you in your ass? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. The parrot named Pepper uh, was surrendered by a woman and who said she could no longer care for the bird and over six other parakeets. Um and white-fronted Amazon parrots can mimic 30 to 40 sounds. And it seems like uh, Pepper is very body. Body is very foul mouth. Or the <laughs> very foul, foul mouth. So, uh, yeah. So it says, if you think Pepper's feathers are colorful, you should hear his language. So she's <laughs> a potty mouth parrot. So if you are interested, you need to get in touch with the Niagara SPCA and... Uh, you can get Pepper. I think she's, he's only nine. He's very young and they live like 80 years old. So. Yeah. They'd live forever. Yeah. The post went on and says on the bright side, if you want to keep unannounced company from dropping by adopt Pepper, they'll think twice before <laughs> being cussed out by your new foul mouth feathered. Fuck friend. You. Mm -hmm. Yep. All mm -hmm. right. Somebody get this guy a bar of soap or a humor loving home. <laughs> I'd like that bird. He's pretty. Hold on. Oh, cute. I can't. It's I can't. It's yeah. It's because it's bright. There you go. I see it yeah. now. That was funny. Beauty. It's pretty. I don't like. I don't like him looking at me with that tone of voice though. I yeah. know. Um, <laughs> thanks everybody for tuning into the Brew Crime News. This has been crazy, wild, insane, and that's just me. So. uh you know, you can check us out on all the socials at Brew Crime and uh, check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash brew crime. Uh, and you can suggest articles and, and ideas and strange news. Just email us at brew crime at pacificbeerchat.com. I've been JT. I don't know who I'll be tomorrow, but thanks for tuning in. Bye. <laughs>